आनंद पाया मेरी माए सतगुरु मैं पाया सतगुर ता पाया सहज सेती बन वजिया बधाया राग रतन परवार परिया शब्द गावण at every Sikh Gurdwara, a blessing of food is offered to all visitors. No one is turned away. A handful of this sweet delicacy offered to each visitor is called Karaprashad. It is a special confection of equal parts clarified butter called ghee, sugar, and whole coarse wheat flour. These three ingredients used in equal parts transform under the chef's skillful watch. Let's see how the chefs and volunteers of the day ensure that the 240,000 daily visitors are offered this blessing. The sugar is dissolved in hot water in a separate cauldron. The flour and clarified butter are roasted in one cauldron. Moving the mixture continuously with a long or like utensil used for stirring so it cooks evenly without burning. Rhythmic sounds of the scraping signal the dual purpose of cooking the wheat and keeping it from sticking to the pot. The wheat ghee mixture forms a golden mass. Constant attention is needed to ensure that the prashad cooks evenly. The Havais of the Golden Temple Kitchen have honed the process expertly. More wheat is added. The ingredients are added not only in stages, but the steps are repeated all the while stirring and scraping in wide, long sweeps. With alertness and caution, the hot ghee and sugar water are poured in the pot. The entire mass begins its dance. With quick, patient, and persistent movements of the kurpa, the prashad is once again formed into a solid, glistening and entreating. The halai makes patterns in the prashad during its final stages, continuing the blending of ingredients. The consistency is firmer than pudding, yet more malleable than dough. It is perfect for offering and eating by hand. The kara prashad is ready to share with the sangat, the community. An empty tin from the ghee is creatively fashioned into a baler. The prashad is deftly scooped up and poured into wide, two-handled buckets. Two men lift the bucket, one on each side, and carry it off. A queue of helpers form, creating a smooth chain of movement, handing off the bucket to the next pair until it reaches the smaller kitchen. The residue of the cooking is cleaned immediately, preparing for the next batch. One cauldron serves five to six thousand people. The prashad is transferred into more manageable salvers and covered with a cloth. The sevadar, balancing the salver on his head, carries it through the crowd and places it carefully on its platform. A second sevadar uncovers a portion at a time and distributes it by hand. The prashad is received respectfully by each visitor with hands cupped together. The offering and receiving of kara prashad is a vital part of Sikh hospitality. Each visitor is offered a handful served from the same bowl to each person. The prashad is meant to be eaten right away. But one can take prashad home to share with others. You may make a donation and receive a smaller platter of prashad. This platter is added and combined with the prashad that others have offered. The volunteer takes a small amount of that mixed prashad, places it in a small bowl made of leaves, and gives it to the donor, who can then take it home or share it with others at the Gurdwara. This mixing together of the prashad symbolizes the equality of all humanity. <laughs>